hi friends in this video let's talk about what is a sql server profiler so this is one of the important concept in the sql server for sql developers and the sql dbas so here we'll talk about what is sql profiler and when to use sql uh, profiler and what are all the versions of sql server contains the sql profiler sql profiler is the one which will help us to debug troubleshoot and monitor the sql queries which are running on the sql server instance so whatever the query which is running on the sql server instance so you can trace it you can track it in the sql server profiler so based on the sql server profiler test you can go for a tuning as well it is going to propose some indexes based on the tuning advisor based on the trace file based on it you can create the indexes now when to use see sql profiler is the one which is exactly helpful for us to identify the slow running queries or long time running queries or whatever the activity which is running on the sql server and sql profiler is the one which will help you to capture the very basic sql statements and stored procedures and inserts commands delete commands or update commands whatever the command you write on the sql server management studio you can capture in the sql server profiler window so sql server profiler window is going to capture the activities what is happening on the sql server which is driven by request from the client application so let us say so there is application e-commerce application is there so e-commerce application is using our sql server database now you want to trace what are all the requests which are coming to the sql server you can simply switch on the profiler on the top of the sql server database so there you can identify so how many stored posts are getting called and what is the stored procedure which is getting called very frequently and which is a stored procedure so which is called very rarely or what is the select query which is running very frequently or what are all the select queries which are running very rarely so this sql profiler is the one which will help you to troubleshoot finally monitor and measure your application sql statements or procedures or views so whatever the command you are going to run on the sql server you can observe that command in the sql profiler now so what versions of sql server contains the sql profiler so sql server profiler you will get along with the standard version of sql server business version of sql server means business version in the sense business intelligence version business intelligence version of sql server and enterprise version of sql server along with these three editions of sql server you will get the sql server profiler so sql server profiler is the one finally which will help you to debug troubleshoot and measure your sql server commands in the sql server instance now so as i told you i can capture the update commands insert commands delete commands or select commands or whatever the commands even data definition language commands also i can capture in the sql server profiler here i will show you practically how to connect to the sql server profiler and how to observe the trace file so to open a sql server profiler let's click on start click on programs so there you will be having a sql server 2012 under that you have a configuration uh, tools yeah under that not configuration tools performance tools under that you have a sql server profiler so just click on the sql server profiler so it may take a while if you are opening for a first time yeah so this is a window you will get it now how to open a trace file here so if you see in the left top side you have a new trace let's click on new trace yeah so let's you'll get this window let's click on connect so once you click on connect so you will get a window like this so the first one is the name of the trace you can give whatever the name you can prefer it i am going to give you the demo 
and my trace provider name is dot slash sql 2012 and trace provider name is this and what is the template here sql server profiler is going to give you many templates so here i want to go with a tuning template i want to go with a tuning template so so that i can easily observe what are all the commands which are running on my server now so once you select this so you can select whatever the template you want so i selected here as a tuning template let's go to the events selection in the event selection so these are the list of events has been selected by default so if you want to select the other events you can you can click on it otherwise you can go with those events if you see this for stored posters and sql batch completed text data duration spid database id database name there are like many columns i will be getting along with that login name and all so if you want other columns you can get it now so what are all the filters you want like sick column filters so do you want to observe this trace file for all the databases or you want to observe only for a specific databases yes i want to go with only specific database my database name is sample so if you want to observe for all the databases you don't need to provide anything or if you want to apply any filter the duration which is taking more than that particular time you can apply that or the login name let us say login name is xyz you want to observe you can do that or text data if you want to put like asp names you can put that but in the filters for time being i kept as a database name as sample here my trace is going to capture all the events which are happened on the top of a sql server database sample so if the if the event happened on the other database let us say master database that is not going to capture in my trace file because i selected strictly selected my database name as a sample now if you see the organized columns see here these are the list of columns you have here so if you want to make it the order up and down or something like that you can do that so if you want to make it either um, login name is up you can make it so you can manage you can organize the columns in the organize columns button so once you are okay with this particular order event class text data duration spid database id database name login name object type so once you are okay with this order so you can click on okay or if you want to change you can make it as up and down buttons in the down so let's click on okay i'm okay with that once you're okay with this general and event selection at tabs so let's click on okay just click on run so once you click on run you will get this window so here the trace has been started so by default like i'll, I'll be getting what are all the events which are occurred on the top of a sample database so if you see there are some event like a, a system default events has been occurring so that is the reason why i got this okay so now let me go back to the sql server management studio and let me connect to the sample database and let me perform insert operations and uh, some update or, or let me perform some select queries so here so let me write one select query select star from employee so this is a select operation so let me run this yeah here i have a three rows with four columns let me go back to the sql server profiler and see is this query is captured in the window or not let me go back here and let me see that select star from employee so if you see so whatever the query i perform on the sample database it will capture in the sql server profiler or first now let me run some procedures so i have a, a list of procedures in my system so these are the pro pro procedures so let me run whatever the procedures i have yeah this is a procedure sp get info let me run this procedure how to run this procedure so we will run the procedures with the help of the exec keyword exec and procedure names and procedure names so let me execute this yeah if you see this i got some around 18 rows with four columns so let me go back to the profiler window can i see that yes let's come here yeah so this is the event is also captured and you can see how much time has been taken six milliseconds has been taken to get this uh, run if it is, if any procedure which takes more than that particular time you can see that time also here it is see 29 and all you can see whatever all the time which has been taken to run the commands now let me go back to the another procedure yeah so this is a procedure so which will help us to do the some incremental loads which will help us to run some merge 
so now let me run this uh, uh, procedure so exec yeah let me run this so this is the procedure which will help us to uh, compare the data between source and target and it will help us to insert if there are any new records or it will help us to update so if you see these are five rows are affected so let me go back to the profiler and let me see do i have that yes i have a exec load target yeah even you can see the match command whatever the command which has been executed in my server so if you see here this is 96 milliseconds has been taken to run this exec load target so this is the uh, uh, profiler this is how we capture the events which are happening on the sql server management studio now let me take some other um, commands let me update let me take this yeah so let me update this employee let me write update command update set some name equal to i am going to keep it as a tim where id equal to some 102 so here if you see the statement i will be updating the employee id 102 name to tim let me run this yeah one row is affected here now if you go back to the yeah, if you go back to the employee table yeah, if you see the tim i can see the tim in the 102 uh, record now let me go back to the sql server profiler and can i see the update command yes you can see the update command yes if you see this update employee set a name equal to tim where id equal to 102 so this is how my sql server profiler is going to capture each and every command so which is running in the sql server management studio so not only this let me run the delete command delete from employee where id equal to 101 so if i run this command this command also will be captured in the profiler let me execute this yeah let me go back to this where is the delete command yeah so this is a delete command delete from employee where id equal to 101 it means that so whatever the command you run in the sql server management studio you can see that okay so this is is the profiler window which will help us to finally observe to identify the long running queries or slowly running queries and it will help us to debug or troubleshoot if there are any errors in your dynamic queries so that's it thank you for watching please keep watching our videos and subscribe for more updated videos thank you